Hello everyone, I am uh, Amit Maru and uh, today in this video we are going to discuss about matrix chain multiplication by using dynamic programming. So let us start our today's video on matrix chain multiplication. So first I'll try to understand what is problem of a chain of matrices and what is need of dynamic programming to solve this problem. So let us discuss what is chain of matrices first of all. Suppose we have a list of matrix, matrix A, B, C and D. Every matrix has uh, some fixed size. For example, size of A matrix is 13 cross 5, that is 13 number of rows and 5 number of columns. B has a size 5 cross uh, 89, that is 5 number of rows and eight number of, uh, 89 number of columns. C has a size 89 rows and 3 columns. D has a size 3 rows and 34 columns. These are the different uh, list of matrices among that we have to perform multiplication. So multiplication with uh, A, B, C and D we have to perform. But this sequence of matrices or this list of matrices is known as chain of matrices because once we observe size of every matrix, for example size of M matrix is 13 number of rows and 5 number of columns and size of B matrix is 5 number of rows and 89 number of columns. Here number of column of A matrix and number of rows of B matrix both are same. Same way we have to compare uh, uh, rows and column of our B and C matrix then number of column of uh, B matrix is 89 and number of rows of C matrix is 89 both are same. Same way when we compare C and D at that time number of column of C matrix is 3 and number of rows of D matrix is 3. These both are same. right? So the size of uh, first matrix in that and number of uh, uh, columns of first matrix and number of uh, rows of second matrix are both are same at that time it is known as chain of matrices so here the sequence is nothing but chain of matrices so a b c and d all are the chain of matrices again i'm repeating why it is known as chain of matrices because number of column of first matrix and number of rows of second matrix both are equal so that it is a known as chain of matrices in every case this 5 is common, 5 is same, 89 is same, 3 is same, so it is a chain of matrices. Now, uh, when we perform multiplication between this all the matrices one by one, at that time we have a different different choice and we have to identify number of uh, multiplications required for every sequence. So for example, we have a different uh, 5 ways through that we can perform multiplication between this all the matrices. The first way is First we have to perform multiplication between A and B, then we can get resultant matrix, perform multiplication of this resultant matrix with C, then again we can get one resultant matrix, then perform uh, multiplication of this resultant matrix with D. Right? So first perform A and B, then after with C and then after with D. At that time required number of multiplications will be 10582. So in this way we can perform multiplication between these all the matrices. One by one we have to perform. So first we have perform a multiplication between A and B, then with C and then with D. At that time number of multiplications required 10582. Another choice is uh, we can perform multiplication with A and B first, then after uh, with C and D. Then after uh, whatever the resultant matrix of A and B and resultant uh, matrix of C and D, we have to perform multiplication between these two resultant matrix. At that time we can, uh, we can use number of multiplication 54201. Here when we use this sequence A and B, then after C and D, then after result of A and B with result of C and D, at that time number of multiplications required are 54201. Another choice is we can also perform first multiplication between B and C then after with A and then after with D. At that time number of multiplications required 2856. Another choice is we can also perform B and C first then after with D and then after with A. At that time number of multiplications required 4055. Last choice. First we have to perform multiplication of C and D, 
then after which the b and then after which uh, at that time number of multiplications are required 26418 right so we have to choose one sequence through that we can perform multiplication of all the matrices with minimum number of multiplication so that we can uh, reduce time complexity of the algorithm or we can make our algorithm faster right so uh, first of all how we can uh, get a number of multiplication how we can say that number of multiplications required by this sequence is 10582 so let us discuss how we can find number of multiplications required uh, for particular sequence just take one example of our first sequence first a b then after with c and then after with d at that time number of multiplications required 10582 how we can calculate uh, 10582 so first of all uh, we have to perform multiplication between two matrix matrix that is a and b here the size of the matrix A is 13 cross 5 and the size of the B is 5 cross 89. So simply we can say when we perform multiplication between these two matrix 13 cross 5 and 5 cross 89 at that time number of multiplications required are 13 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 89. Here 5 is common so that we are using only ones. So number of multiplication uh, to calculate the number of multiplication we have to perform multiplication between 13 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 89 then answer is 5785. So when we perform multiplication between A and B at that time required number of multiplications are 5785 and the size of our resultant matrix will be 13 cross 89. Right. When, when we perform multiplication between two matrices, at that time our resultant matrix will have a size 13 cross 89, 13 number of rows and 18 number of columns of our resultant matrix and required number of multiplications will be 5785. Right. Then after we have to perform multiplication uh, with C. So let us perform multiplication with C. So as we discuss, uh, the resultant matrix has a size 13 cross 89 and uh, size of the C matrix is 89 cross 3, right? So the total number of multiplication will be 13 multiplied by 89 multiplied by 3. 13 multiplied by 89 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3471. This, uh, this number of multiplications required when we perform first AB uh, then after with C and the size of our resultant matrix will be 13 cross 3 right now uh, uh, with this resultant matrix uh, let us perform multiplication with d then the size of our resultant matrix is uh, 13 cross 3 and the size of d matrix is 3 cross 34 so the total number of multiplications required here is 13 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 34. So 13 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 34 is equal to 1326 number of multiplications. And the resultant matrix will have a size 13 cross 34, 13 cross 34. Now perform addition with these all the values then uh, 5785 plus 3471 plus 1326 then we can get total number of multiplication that is 3 at 10580 to 10582 once we choose this sequence so in this way we can find number of multiplications required for this sequence for this sequence and all the remaining sequence Right. So now we have to compare uh, required number of multiplication uh, of uh, all the sequence here 10,582 here 54,201 among this all the sequence this sequence uh, A the first perform multiplication with A and B then after with C and D and then multiplication with uh, both the resultant matrix then we can uh, then number of multiplications required that is 54,201. Uh, so this is the largest value here number of multiplications are required 54201 when we use this sequence right so this sequence has a uh, very uh, slow speed and we can say this sequence first bc then after a with the, uh, with the d then we can have a number of multiplication 2856 which is the lowest value among this all 
right so when we compare between this uh, 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 between these two sequence at that time this is lowest and this is the uh, uh, lowest and this is the largest then we can say that the most efficient method is almost 19 times faster than the slowest one right when we compare this both at that time this is the fastest sequence as compared to this sequence and almost this is 19 times faster right so in this way we have to identify all the sequence we have to identify requirement number of multiplication for every sequence and we have to check which sequence required minimum number of multiplication and on that sequence we have to perform multiplication it means that from this all the sequence we can say that the best sequence is this one because it required minimum number of multiplications so that the required time to perform multiplication among this all the matrices is very less as compared to remaining other option right so uh, if we have a number of uh, multiplication here number of matrices are only four so we can uh, have a different five choices but whenever number of matrices are more at that time we have a number of sequence and we have to check each and every sequence uh, to find out the required number of multiplications and to identify which one is faster so it is very tedious uh, uh, algorithm or we can say very tedious uh, task and it uh, required maximum amount of time to identify the best sequence right so this algorithm is not better it is not good uh, to check each and every sequence so that we have to solve same problem by using dynamic programming in dynamic programming it, uh, programming it is not required to check each and every sequence but we can directly get answer 2080 uh, 2856 remember this uh, uh, answer because we will solve same problem by using dynamic programming and in that we will get answer that is 2856 then after we will uh, find the sequence that is bc then after with a and with, uh, with and after with d so let us discuss how we can uh, find same solution by using dynamic programming uh, as you know that in dynamic programming first of all we have to set up one table here we have to set up two table one is vector that is the dimension vector d we are starting from 0 to n this n is nothing but number of matrices then after we have to set up one table that is m table which has a number of rows and number of columns here again it is depends on the number of matrices if number of matrices are 4 then the size of the matrix will be 4 by 4 4 number of rows and 4 number of columns this matrix we have to fill uh, diagonal by diagonal and this diagonal is known as for example small s when the value of s is equal to 0 it indicates our main diagonal then after uh, above diagonal is known as s is equal to 1 above to above is known as s is equal to 2 so maximum n minus 1 number of diagonals are there and this small n indicates number of matrices so whenever the number of matrices are for example 4 at that time number of diagonal will be n minus 1 that is uh, 3 0 1 2 and 3 and 0 indicates our main diagonal right so uh, then after uh, we have to uh, fill our matrix by using some uh, rule by using some uh, uh, equation so how we can uh, fill the matrix we have one equation for example if you want to fill s is equal to 0 diagonal this is our main diagonal then we have to follow this rule we have to fill s is equal to 0 by using this mii is equal to 0 here the value of i starting from 1 to small n right it means that we have to fill 0 in our main diagonal if the value of i is equal to 1 at that time m11 that is the first row first column when the value of i is equal to 2 then m22 that is the second row second column uh, likewise third row third column fourth row fourth column every time we have to fill 0 there right so for the main diagonal when the value of s is equal to 0 in main diagonal we have to just put 0 there then we have to identify our second diagonal that is s is equal to 1 in that we have to first identify our dimension uh, vector that is our d right and we have to perform multiplication between these all the different different values to identify our uh, second diagonal that is s is equal to 1 
then after we have to uh, identify different values of uh, s is equal to 2 s is, s is equal to 3 s is equal to 4 up to the n minus 1 by using our last equation here we have to identify the value of k and the value of k is very important to identify the sequence that we will discuss later on right so these three equation we have to retain we have to remember uh, to fill the matrix and uh, in a matrix last first row last column will be the answer in this matrix our first row and last column will be the answer in that we will get our uh, actual answer that is a uh, 2856 in our first row last column so let us discuss how we can solve by using dynamic programming so same example here we are taking we have a, a chain of matrices like a 13 cross 5 b 5 cross 89 c 89 cross 3 and d 3 cross 34 that is all same example by using dynamic programming and how we can get the answer so as we discuss we have to first uh, identify the dimension vector that is our d and d starting from index 0 to small n small n is nothing but number of matrices we have a uh, four number of matrices so d has an index starting from 0 to 4 so different five values we will store in our d matrix right so now see in this d vector, uh, vector uh, how we can find different values so we have to fill our d like uh, 13 5 89 3 and 34 this is nothing but the value of different different matrices for example if you want to fill our this matrix uh, vector d then we have to start from the of our size of the first matrix a here 13 then after 5 then after 89 then after 3 and last value that is 34 13 5 89 3 and 34 this is the value of our dimension vector that is 13 5 89 3 and 34 so this is the first step uh, in that we have to identify the dimension vector how we can identify we already discussed put this value in your dimension vector and this is nothing but our d the value of d will be used uh, to fill the final matrix now second step is uh, we have to identify how many matrices are there we have a total four number of matrices so that we have to set up one table which has a size four cross four that is a four number of rows and four number of columns so this is the table uh, four number of rows and four number of columns as we discussed we have to fill uh, different values in this uh, matrix diagonal by diagonal and for the diagonal we are using symbol s so when the value of s is equal to 0 it indicates our main diagonal so here we have to fill the value for the main diagonal then we have to identify second diagonal when the value of s is equal to 1 s1 this is our second diagonal here we have to fill different values three different values we have to fill here then s2 here we have to fill two different values for s2 and last s3 here we can get our final answer so final answer will be available here that is our first row and last column our answer will be available here now let us fill this matrix by using our equation what we already discussed so equation number one uh, if you want to fill our s is equal to zero or we can say the main diagonal then we already discussed that we have to put zero there mii is equal to zero for different values of i starting from one to n so m11 m22 m33 m44 all value must be zero so first row column first row first column will be zero first uh, second row second column will be zero third row third column will be zero and fourth row fourth column will be zero so our main diagonal is zero so initial step or we can say the first step is we have to put zero in our main diagonal and this main diagonal is known as s0 now next step is we have to identify different values for the second diagonal s1 here we have to put some value here we have to put some value here we have to put some value by using our uh, second equation so second equation says that if the value of s is equal to 1 that is our second diagonal if the value of s is equal to 1 then we have to use this equation as per this equation mi i plus 1 is equal to di minus 1 into di into di plus 1 
for the different values of i starting from 1 to n minus 1 right so for example if the value of i is equal to 1 at that time this will be when the value of i is equal to 1 then it will be 1 m1 1 plus 1 to m1 2 that is first row second column first row and second column here we can fill the value then after we can fill value here then after we can fill value here and this is nothing but our second diagonal s1 okay right? so to fill this value we must have one dimension matrix so as we already discussed we have one dimension matrix in that we have filled different values use this uh, value to find out the different uh, value uh, for uh, the, our matrices uh, diagonal s is equal to 1 Right, so let us uh, find when the value of i is equal to 1 at that time uh, i is equal to 1 then m12 is equal to d of i minus 1 the i is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so d0 into d1 into d2 so m12 is equal to d0 into d1 into d2 so put the value d0 is nothing but our first value that is 13 d1 5 and d2 is equal to 89 perform multiplication between this all the values then we can get 5785 this value we have to put in our first row second column m12 that is first row second column here so our answer is 5785 then when the value of i is equal to 2 at that time m23 is equal to m23 is equal to d i minus 1 so i is equal to 2 2 minus 1 1 so d1 then d2 into d3 so d1 into d2 into d3 then 5 multiplied by 89 multiplied by 3 is equal to 1335 this value we have to put in second row third column second row and third column means here so 1335 will be stored here likewise we have to identify for value a value when the value of i is equal to 3 when the value of i is equal to 3 at that time m34 is equal to d2 into d3 into d4 is equal to 89 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 34 is equal to 9778 uh, and that this value we have to fill in third row fourth column so third row and fourth column means here here we have to fill 9000 uh, 78 so this is the different values of our uh, next diagonal that is our s1 so we have uh, filled uh, main diagonal we have filled uh, different values of our main diagonal that is s0 and uh, second diagonal that is our s1 then after we can fill remaining diagonal by using our uh, third equation so when the value uh, of s is greater than 1 and less than n up to the n minus 1 we can use our third equation to fill the matrix so here we have to fill uh, different values by using our third equation so let us uh, fill uh, this both the value by using third equation when the value of s is equal to 2 at that time we have to use our third equation uh, third equation to fill the values here and here so when the value of s is equal to 2 at that time here we are starting from 1 to n minus s so n is equal to 4 s is equal to 2 so 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 so we have uh, only two value when the value of i is equal to 1 at that time we can fill value here when the value of i is equal to 2 at that time we can fill value here so let us discuss uh, when the value of i is equal to 1 at that time we have a different values of k k greater than or is equal to 1 k less than 1 plus s s is equal to 2 so 1 plus s is equal to 3 and starting from k that is greater than or is equal to 1 so when the value of k is equal to 1 and when the value of k is equal to 2 at that time we are getting different two values among that we have to identify which one is minimum this minimum value we have to store here right so let us discuss when the value of i is equal to 1 at that time uh, k has a different value when the value of i is equal to 1 and when the value of k is equal to 1 at that time this will be m11 and this one will be m2 and 1 plus s s is equal to 2 so 3 m1 uh, m2 3 so m2 3 plus d 0 d 1 and d 3 so 13 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3 
when the value of i is equal to 1 and the value of k is equal to 1 at that time we will have this term then when the value of i is equal to 1 and the value of k is equal to 2 at that time we can get this value m12 plus m33 plus 13 cross 89 cross 3 among these two value which one is minimum that we need to identify so for the first term we will have our answer 1530 when the value of k is equal to 1 and 9256 when the value of k is equal to 2 among these two uh, our minimum value is 1050 uh, 1530 when the value of k is equal to 1 so this value we have to fill in our first row third column first row third column means here so 1030 1530 will be stored here here we have to uh, check what is the value of k here when the value of k is equal to 1 at that time 1530 is answer when the value of k is equal to 2 at that time our answer is 900 uh, 9256 and among these two we have chosen first one because this is the minimum so when the value of k is equal to 1 at that time we are getting answer this value of k is very much important uh, to find the word second matrix that we'll discuss later on so we have to mention k here in our uh, main diagonal there is no value of k in second diagonal there is no value of k but then after we will have a different value of k so we have to mention k also now when the value of i is equal to 2 at that time we can get m22 plus m34 plus 5 multiplied by 89 multiplied by 34 this is our first term and uh, second term is m23 plus m44 plus m uh, sorry 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 34 find out the value of both this term uh, 24208 and 1845 and which one is minimum among these two value 1845 as we discussed we have to uh, mention value of k also here the value of k is equal to 3 when the value of k is equal to 3 at that time we can get 1845 right now we have to fill our last value and as we discussed this last value will be the answer first row and last column will be the answer so let us discuss how we can fill as we discuss again we have to use our third equation to find the solution of one for last row last uh, last uh, first row last column so when the value of s, s is equal to 3 at that time we have we can get different values uh, for k is equal to 1 k is equal to 2 k is equal to 3 Right. So when the value of k is equal to 1 at that time we can get uh, m11 plus m24 plus uh, 13 cross 5 cross 34. When the value of k is equal to 2 at that time we can get m12 plus uh, m34 uh, plus 13 cross 89 cross 34. When the value of k is equal to 3 at that time we can get m13 plus m44 plus uh, 13 cross 3 multiplied by 34 find out value of each and every uh, term so for when the value of k is equal to 1 at that time our answer is 4055 when the value of k is equal to 2 at that time answer is 54201 when the value of k is equal to 3 at that time answer is uh, 2856 among this all the minimum value is 2856 and we have to mention here is uh, the value of k is 3 in this case also so now our answer is uh, 2856 and the value of k is equal to 3. So uh, first row and last column that is the first row and fourth column indicates our result or we can say answer that is minimum uh, 2856 number of multiplications required uh, in particular sequence of A, B, C and D matrices. Now, in this table, we can get uh, uh, our exact answer that is 2856 number of multiplication. But in which sequence we have to arrange our uh, matrices A, B, C, and D so that we can get this minimum number of multiplication that is uh, 2856. That we cannot guess from this table. So simply we can say from this table, we can get answer that is 2856 number of multiplications. But we cannot guess in which sequence we have to perform multiplication of our matrices a b c and d 
so we have to follow our next steps to find out the sequence of uh, matrices in that uh, particular sequence we will perform multiplication so our next step is we have to uh, find we have to prepare s matrix so at s matrix is uh, basically uh, used to identify the sequence uh, of uh, matrices uh, using that we can perform multiplication and we can get minimum number of uh, multiplication so that we can reduce time complexity of the algorithm so we have to prepare s matrix now by using value of k but once we check uh, in this table then uh, we have a value of uh, k uh, after s1 in s0 and s1 there is no value of k but in s2 s3 s4 up to any uh, diagonal we will have a different values of k so here for s0 we have to put value of i to fill this value of uh, s0 we are normally using i so m i i is equal to 0 this uh, this is the equation to fill our main diagonal m i i is equal to 0 when the value of i is equal to 1 then first row first column is equal to 0 when the value of i is equal to 2 then second row second column is equal to 0 same way value of i is equal to 3 then third row third column is equal to 0 and i is equal to 4 then fourth row fourth column is equal to 0 this is our equation number 1 through that uh, we have filled this s0 diagonal so here we have to put value of i in our s matrix so in our s matrix our s0 diagonal or we can say the main diagonal has a value 1 2 3 and 4 here then after to fill the value of uh, s1 diagonal again we have to use value of i so uh, here the value of i will be 1 2 and 3 again and then after we have to fill the value of k so here value of k is equal to 1 value of k is equal to 3 and here value of k is equal to 3 so our s matrix will be like this main diagonal has a value of i 1 2 3 and 4 second diagonal s1 has a 1 2 and 3 this is also the value of i and then after we have a value of k value of k is equal to 1 here value of k is equal to 3 here and value of k is equal to 3 here so this is our s matrix this s matrix basically used to identify the sequence and this matrix basically used to identify number of multiplication or we can say the minimum number of multiplications required to perform multiplication of chain of matrices so let us find a sequence by using this uh, s matrix so as we discuss uh, how we can fill the s matrix so this is our s matrix i uh, use this s matrix to identify the sequence and to find the sequence we have one algorithm using this algorithm we have to identify the sequence of matrices in that particular sequence we will perform multiplication so as per the algorithm we have to pass a three argument s is nothing but our whole array in that we have passed a value of i and j this value of i and j is nothing but uh, our answer uh, on that particular index we are getting answer so we are getting answer on first row and fourth column first row and fourth column so in our previous uh, matrix we discussed that first row and fourth column has our minimum number of multiplication right so first row fourth column so first row i is equal to one and column j is equal to four so we have to pass value of i is equal to one and value of j is equal to four first row fourth column now we have to check the value of i and j here if the value of i and j both are equal then print a of i otherwise else but here the value of i is equal to 1 in our case and the value of j is equal to 4 so both are not equal so we have to call a uh, same function again two times here first calling a uh, function uh, calling that is a recursive call first time by using different values of i and j second time we are calling same function this is again recursive call uh, with the different values of i and j so once we display one uh, uh, tree from this recursive call then every time we are getting uh, two different child first child by using this calling function and the second child by using this calling function and every time we are uh, passing some different values of i uh, in our first uh, uh, first call here the value of i as it is and the value of j will be s of i j in our second calling uh, value of j as it is and the value of i will be s of i j plus one 
right so let us uh, make one tree uh, from this uh, recursive call then we can get uh, this kind of uh, tree first value of i is equal to 1 and value of j is equal to 4 so first node will be 1 and 4 this is the value of i is equal to 1 and value of j is equal to 4 first row fourth column then after whether both are equal or not this both are not equal then this else pass else part has a two recursive call so that we are getting two child this is a left child and one is right child in our left child the value of i as it is and the value of j will be s of i j in our left child the value of i as it is it means that one as it is and the value of j will be s of i j s of i j means what the i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 4 so s of 1 4 first row fourth column so in this s matrix first row fourth column has a value 3 right so i as it is and s of i j is equal to 3 so we are getting i as it is and the value of uh, first row fourth column is equal to 3 here right so this is our left child in our right child uh, the value of j as it is so 4 will be as it is and the value of i will be s of i j plus 1 s of i j that is over 3 and plus 1 so 3 plus 1 4 so this i will be 4 so j as it is and the value of i will be s of i j plus 1 s of i j that is the first row th fourth column is equal to 3 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 so we can get here 4 comma 4 further once we uh, divide our uh, tree uh, into sub child uh, or uh, sub tree at that time we can uh, subdivide this uh, tree because uh, 1 and 3 both are not equal so now the value of i is equal to 1 here and value of j is equal to 3 so i and j both are not equal so as we discussed we have to divide into two uh, two child the first child that is a left child uh, once we uh, get a left child at that time where the value of i will be as it is and the value of j will be first row third column so first row and third column has a value one so we can get one comma one in our uh, uh, left child the value of j as it is so three will be as it is and to get the value of i uh, we have to check value first row third column first row third column has one one plus one two so this will be two again this uh, uh, node can be further divided so uh, let us divide into two child so left child has a uh, has a different two values so as we discussed in left child the value of i as it is so two as it is and the value of j will be s of uh, i j that is second row third column second row third column has a value two so i as it is that is two and second row and third column has a value two in right child uh, second uh, right child the value of j as it is so three as it is and second row and third column has a value 2 2 plus 1 3 so 3 comma 3 so in this way we have to make a one uh, tree now here 1 1 both i and j both are equal here i and j both are equal i and j both are equal and here i and j both are equal when the value of i and j both are equal then we have to uh, we have to print a i right so this node uh, will display a1 this will be our a2 this will be our a3 and this will be our a4 from this tree we can find the sequence just move from bottom to top and print the uh, sequence of uh, different matrices then uh, we can print like uh, first we have to perform multiplication of uh, a2 a3 perform multiplication of a2 a3 a2 a3 then whatever the result uh, we are getting here the result of this multiplication a2 and a3 will multiply with a1 so it multiply with a1 then the result will be available here the result of this matrix is uh, will multiply with this matrix that is our a4 so we perform multiplication with a4 and final uh, result and matrix will be available here so in this way we can find the sequence again i am repeating first uh, a2 a3 multiplication between a2 a3 then after uh, result will resultant matrix will be available here this resultant matrix will perform multiplication with a1 
resultant matrix will be available here this resultant matrix will uh, perform multiplication with f4 and our resultant matrix will be available here so the sequence final sequence is first a to a3 uh, then after a1 then after a4 so in this way we can find sequence of matrices and uh, in previous table we can get a required number of multiplication right so this is all about how we can uh, solve the chain matrix uh, multiplication problem uh, this is the benefit of uh, dynamic programming in that we can directly identify required number of multiplications and the sequence we can get by using uh, one tree or we can say recursive call so as we discussed by using dynamic uh, programming we uh, identify particular sequence which is uh, 19 times faster in our case uh, so we can reduce uh, time complexity of the algorithm so this is uh, all about uh, chain matrix uh, multiplication so thank you thank you very much